Hi, I'm Ray Trailer, CPA. I'm the author of a Christian book called True Riches about biblical finances. I get asked a lot of questions about the financial arena, and one of the questions that keep com keeps coming up has to do with stewardship. And for most people, stewardship, when they think of stewardship, it's just simply about how to come up with a budget and how to make the most of your giving. But in the scripture, stewardship is a much broader type of subject, and I want to, in the next uh, few little uh, videos here that I'm going to give you that are free, uh, I'm going to go in to explain a little bit about what biblical stewardship is. The word stewardship comes from a Greek word. It's a compound word, and it means house, and it means law. So you put those two together, and you come up with a guy who is the ruler of a household, and he has some responsibilities. It's not his household, but it's typically he was appointed by uh, the patriarch of the family to do some certain things. And there are a lot of examples of stewards in the Bible. But if you'll think of yourself as being a steward of the Lord, and which is really what we're talking about, is that all the stuff we have is really God's. And we are just simply the ones who are administering that stewardship. It's not our stuff. It's not what we are holding on to or grasping, but it's what we are making available for the Lord's purposes. And there are many, many examples of stewards in the Bible. Uh, probably one that you haven't really thought of is the Lord Jesus Christ. He was a steward of God's mysteries. And uh, when he was 12 years old, Luke uh, chapter 2, he was uh, spent some time in the temple. And uh, his parents didn't know where, the, where he was. And when they showed up, finally found him after three days, he asked them this question. He said, don't you know that I had to be about my father's business? from our Father's concerns. And that's really what we're talking about here, is being about our Heavenly Father's business, or His concerns. Uh, in a much broader sense, uh, there are many things having to do with stewardship that we don't really normally think about, but I want you to be thinking about how uh, you can take dominion of your specific life and accomplish what God wants you to accomplish. This idea of dominion has been around for a long time, even from Genesis chapter 1, uh, God told Adam and Eve that they should go and multiply and subdue the earth and have dominion over it in verse 26. And for you in your life, God wants you to take dominion of your life, rule over your life so that all that you have would be available for God to use as He directs you. So my question to you at the end of this video is, what resources do you have and what is it that God wants you to accomplish with those resources? See, that takes it out of the realm of just generic budgeting or giving, not giving to an institution, but thinking very specifically about what God wants you to accomplish in your life and making your financial resources available for that specific end. Uh, we're going to produce a few more of these stewardship videos. Uh, they're all available for you uh, free at our website, truerichesnet uh, you can go there, you'll see uh, a clip about the site. And you'll also see at the top right hand place there that you can register and you can get all sorts of free things like these videos. There'll be other videos and other subjects and white papers, reports, various things that are going on. This uh, TrueRiches.net is really about equipping the body of Christ in order to make uh, funds available for the kingdom of God and for Christ's purposes. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.